Hello everyone, good to see you guys again. Today I am going to make steak. <laughs> well, anyhow, uh, for those of you who have not uh, seen my previous vlogs yet, every now and then I normally like do some cooking. But this today we're going to do, uh, I'm going to do steak. It's uh, grilling, that is. So, of course, with that said, my husband is will be doing the grilling but I'm doing the rest of it but anyhow let's start with my steak I'm just gonna show you guys I we are going to like it's already, I already have this like prepared so I put it's like this is like a ribeye steak so as you can tell it's really thick <laughs> it's thick guys it's like um it's almost like uh let me see half a pound half a pound so it's about like a quarter a kilo each piece so there's three pieces here that's what we're going to be grilling. And when I said it's been prepped, that means I have put some tenderizer. I normally use like a tenderizer. I'm going to show you guys also what the kind of tenderizer I use. <laughs> so this tenderizer, it's kind of like you have to kind of sprinkle it over the meat at least two hours before you uh, before you start grilling them. So uh, just hold on for a second. I've been going... I am going to show you <laughs> my mouth is really running fast <laughs> I cannot, my brain cannot catch up but I am going to show you my uh, meat tenderizer so guys when I say ten when I say tenderizer this is what I use it's uh that's the brand name and of course it's it says no MSG needed but uh, I mean needed no msg added so you know but uh this helps a lot when you grill some steak then having this uh the meat tenderized some people will just come up like poke holes on the meat you know like uh like like use the fork to poke holes on the meat to kind of help it tenderize i do both you know but it's easy it's you know for sometimes meat can be tough so adding tenderizer it would really helps a lot by the way this is not a paid promotion guys what i meant is that it's not sponsored by this company guys i am just showing you that this is what i use when i when we do grilling and this is the first time um for the season that we're doing grilling because it the weather is perfect what i meant by that you know it's nice and warm and it's not raining so we can grill it outside so that's what we're having for uh, that's what we're having for dinner tonight and with that um i was just going to do uh uh corn on the cob on the sides but i went to the store and they don't have corn yet so with that said my husband's next uh, request is a portion of french fries <laughs> so i am gonna do this french fries and if you guys have seen in my previous vlogs i always do like bake the french fries so this is what i'm gonna be doing uh french fries and i'm gonna bake that and i'm going to make uh oh hang on for a second guys i thought i've drained the the water already but i haven't obviously so i like i said i thought i have drained the water for this because i was uh, soaking it in the water a little bit rinse it you know and all that so i am going to make a sauteed green beans but uh, um i think it's kind of like uh what do you call this maybe like uh do you call it like uh, adobo green beans maybe it's kind of like that but yes i am going to make the sauteed green beans with carrots and that's gonna be our side for our dinner with the steak so guys i'm just gonna do cut up my green beans and right now excuse me <laughs> right now my uh, my oven is preheating 350 for my fries it's my fries guys well the fries but it's ready to go into the oven uh for about 45 minutes at 350 degrees yay so guys oh there's hot dog too <laughs> So anyhow, while the the French fries are baking, my husband is putting the meat in the grill. Yay! So, like I said, guys, this is the first time that we are doing grilling. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, we like to grill uh, on the charcoal. That's why that's why we're doing first. That's why I said first time grilling because outside because we don't use that electric grill. We just use charcoal. We like charcoal. It kind of gave it a different flavor. So yeah, that's our uh, steak and hot dog on the other side.
So guys, uh, my husband had it set for six minutes one side and he's ready to flip it over another five another six minutes so and then he's uh, uh, trying to attain or the achieve it's like it will be medium rare so let's see here's my chef <laughs> looking good guys oh look at that marking that marking so good there and it smells good too like I said being uh, having the charcoal there you go and then he's gonna turn the hot dogs as well turn flip it over oh I think it needs to be shot I'm done. We're checking it, guys. And it, okay, what about that other hat? All right, guys. Time to sauté or sauté or make adobo, uh, green beans adobo. Oh, <laughs> it's flowers on me. My oh my. Oh man. All right. Come on. I bet I can do this. <laughs> okay, then that's my garlic, and then here's next is my onions. Of course, I think I like I said, guys. I uh, I cook simply. <laughs> just bar barely few uh, ingredients, you know. That's just what, how I do things. And then here is my green beans. Ta da! I don't cook elaborate meals because, I mean, you know, it's only me and my husband. So, and then I'm just gonna put them all together and let them, you know, cook and let them happy. <laughs> So yeah, right now I have the heat on medium high. So I'm just gonna let it kinda, I want my uh, green beans also crispy. So I'm just cover it for about three minutes. And then I uh, do my uh, soy sauce and then I should be done. Yay. <laughs> here's, meanwhile guys, here's my steak. And this is, uh, this two, these two right here are like medium rare and this one here is medium well and this is gonna be mine i like my steak medium well or um so that's our day Look at that's my husband's plate <laughs> and my dog's eyes. That's my plate. <laughs> so it's time to eat. Time to eat. So here is my medium. Well done. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's very good, guys. Mm.
my price my green beans mm -mm -mm. adobo green beans guys adobo green beans uh-huh we call it hair so tight So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today on how to uh, make steak. You know, uh, like I said, my husband always do it like six. Um, for that, especially for that thickness of the steak, it's actually, like I said, it's a ribeye steak. So he does uh, six minutes on one side and six minutes on one side. Then what he has is uh, the uh, medium rare but of course mine is uh is um, medium well i like mine medium well so uh, like i said thank you so much for watching you guys have a good day and hope to see you guys soon bye